Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution with our North Korea playthrough, our better Korea, of course, playthrough. We are on episode 18, and in the last one, we finished up the war with Indonesia, which was beautiful, by the way. We ended up with, like, over $2 billion in war reparations being paid back to us for six years straight. So, Indonesia now having to pay us $2 billion in war reparations, that's... That is awesome. It is inadmissible. Meanwhile, we're still dealing with those terrorists, but that's just going to be an ongoing thing for the entire friggin' series, pretty much. They're almost done, though. We're, we're getting close. These guys are under surveillance. Um, neither of them did anything bad so far, so... All right. And uh, we're getting ready to gear up, I think, maybe with the war with South Korea again here soon. Soldiers, yeah, but where's my where's my commandos? That's that's what I want to see here. We got twenty seven hundred commandos there, and the rest of them should be sort of dispersed out everywhere. So got a lot of soldiers sitting in all of our cities because we've started building up our military. Lots of commandos in these areas. Commandos here. Oh my god, we got so many commandos. I think we still got some flying home, or do we do we finally? Did they finally make it home? I guess they finally made it home. So there's a couple of different things I could do. Uh, obviously, going to war with South Korea is one of them. Uh, I've also thought about going to war with some other countries in terms of just getting more war reparations for the money. Get a statement sent. So that's an option. We shouldn't be at war with Indonesia still. It says we're still at war with South Korea, but that doesn't make any sense. Um, propose a peace treaty. Let me just see. Yeah, it's just these two. Oh, France is probably not going to. We can. S I mean, what's it? Ma Do they have forces in here? Is there still French forces? There's one French force here. Oh, that U.S. base was destroyed, actually. That was here. There is Indonesian forces. And then there's 106K worth of French forces. Unfortunately, even if we peace out with them, they're probably just going to sit there because that, that's just the way the game works. They're probably not going to go home. You can see South Korean forces, tanks, and, and uh, Humvees just sitting there as well because they just never went back to base, which is just a part of the game. Um, we've almost got our 30,000 commandos. We actually almost have our 500,000 career soldiers go goal. Um, we got 258,000 reservists and 676,000 conscripts. Uh, when the time comes, I'll activate the reserve force and every everything and get us... Uh, the ball rolling, but we've got a million in our army now, so the army is rapidly growing uh, and doing good. The only thing we're hurting on is tanks. Got a lot of fighter planes, though, but tanks and you have any type of navy. That's definitely killing us, so we'll let the commandos keep building up. Meanwhile, I wanted to check out the space portion, see what kind of... Uh, space programs we could launch here. So we got a couple of different things. Different asteroids and comets we can go to. Um, what's this? Uh, I can punish any citizen judging him or her directly on the international side that is frowned upon, but after all, who cares if we are still under control here? Uh, report intercepted. All right. Uh, we got our quarterly coming in. $8 billion cash surplus. Jesus. <laughs> this reserve will accumulate interest at 57.29 per year. Uh, the following accident and fire started at the nuclear plant. Radioactive substance is being released to the atmosphere surrounding the plant. Uh-oh. The intervention teams are attempting to control the incident and to stop any leaks. The cost of evacuation of the local population at a 30-mile security radius will cost us 2 point. Yeah, order the evacuation. 2.8 million. Damn it. 
not putting any power out now. And we've got a bunch of refugees trying to leave the area. Did it destroy this? No, this base is good to go. All right, well, we'll go ahead and set up a refugee camp outside the area, um, outside this town here. So that they can, the refugees got someplace safe to go. Uh, it only takes 14 days to set up. We're fleeing the catastrophe. Unfortunately, we currently don't have the means to take in any everyone. We need to build camps nearby so they can avoid a journey that would otherwise be too long and exhausting. Civilian casualties to the expense pot. Yeah, we're doing it now. Scientific discovery, humanitarian. What we discover? Robotics team created a device simulating human vision. Okay. Patent that. Did All right. Everything is back in order. Our team managed to control the fire and the nuclear plant is at present secured. Radioactive is slightly above average. We have nothing to fear from this. Oh, good. Is it back up and running? No. Well, hopefully soon we'll get up there. Here is our growth. All right, I want to go back to what I was doing, but I wanted to take a look at the budget quick. Budget excess of almost twelve billion. I spent a lot of the money. We have a seven, almost seven, almost eight billion in reserve, but I spent a lot of it on the new highway and launching the space program. So that's cost us a lot. Inflation is going back down again, and our debt should be non-existent. Yep. So no debt. Oh boy. This isn't even done yet. Oh, about to be done. Let me consider you, your useless order for the evacuation of the population. If you want to stay in power, self-control and common sense are necessary. You cannot afford to be alarmed at nothing. What? Are you kidding me? Better safe than sorry. I'd rather have evacuated them. And had you come at me angry because I dehomed a bunch of people, then not evacuate them and have you come at me because millions of people were incinerated in a fiery blaze. Funeral? Nah, funeral for the oldest person in the country. That's sad. They always spoke so highly of me. All right. What's the point in getting through the century? And now we have a new old person and they're angry. All right, so space research. Now I want to go back to this here. Listen, just leave me alone. To strike while the iron is oh God, what have I done? So go away. All right, let me pause the game for a second so I can look this over. So we can we could do a couple different things here. We could we could do some stuff here with Earth, um, satellite construction and launch. You have already initiated this type of program, have I? Oh, I have. Programs initiated one. Operating a satellite or probe, place in orbit, satellite construction, light rockets. Before validation of the program. Uh, we're not doing any partnerships with any programs as far as I could tell or any other countries. Um, this is going to put a satellite in Earth's orbit. So we already have done that, huh? So how come I can't utilize my satellites thing? Because I tried to do that earlier and it wouldn't let me. And I can't remember what it was from underneath. I think it's Secret Service. Order spy satellites. No nations available for this product, so I don't know. Oh, maybe we can't, like, buy them? So I have satellites, but I can't do anything with them? That's odd. As far as I can tell, I can't do anything with them. Unless there's something underneath the army or military operations. Dismantle construction budget. This is just... Non -prol uh, proliferation treat uh, the non proliferation treaty black market producing more nuclear missiles military operations 
Uh, go to war, siding with a country in conflict. Uh, conflict. Launch a procedure to authorize the use of nuclear or chemical. Um, I have a lot of people asking me why I'm not doing these. And I have no problem doing them to some extent. But uh, do realize that once you use nuclear weapons, all my allies go right out the window. Russia and China will attack me without hesitating. So it's, uh, you know, it's a trade-up. I'm not really prepared to fight Russia and China. I'm trying to perform. I'm trying to perform unification here, after all. You know, we haven't put any money into our police agency in a while. So maybe that's something we're going to want to consider. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about the satellite then, for now. Um, space station. What do we get from this? Send sending an astronaut to a space station Earth orbit, staying for a few weeks, or which time scientific research will be conducted? Okay. Living on a space station, living long term on a space station. Sending an astronaut to the ISS in Earth orbit, staying for a few weeks. All right. So same thing. Russia and United States are the only ones there. We get a lot of happiness bonus mainly. And uh, amount financed by other partners, 50%. So this is something that we could do if we can get somebody to help us finance it. I mean, we have the money to upfront anyways. Um, technology and programs required, which I guess we got them all. And then we got all this other stuff. And we can construct stuff too. So that's the satellite, a space telescope. Um, this kind of telescope is positioned in space to observe far off planets, galaxies, other celestial objects, unimpaired by Earth's atmosphere, allows us to take very high quality images. But what's it give me? Living in space, sending an astronaut into space for a short stay in orbit. How about I want him to permanently stay there? Space habitation. Construction and launch of a habitation module by a crew of astronauts. The object of this mission will be to expand our knowledge of manned space travel and building ships, a necessary step for improving our chances for longer and more distant manned space missions, such as mo uh, such a module can also form one of the components of the construction of a space station. We could construct a space station. It costs 98 um, billion, so nine, $9 trillion, $9.8 trillion. The aim of the station will be to replace the ISS, whose future remains uncertain beyond 2024. The interest in such a station is both strategic and scientific. Furthermore, it will be a staging platform or a refugee for crews waiting to depart or returning from other missions. Such a station is made by assembling at least three habit, uh, habitable modules placed in orbit in preliminary, uh, preliminary missions. We don't have any tech for that. Construction of a space station, light rockets. Super heavy rockets. Uh, we got to do light rockets first and then medium to heavy rockets. So why don't we do light rockets? Cost us 163.4 million. I think this lets us like improve our nukes as well, technically. Because if we get the light rockets, then we can do medium to heavy rockets. And then we can do super heavy rockets which will allow us to, um, it allows us to put a payload of more than 50 tons into low earth orbit. This rocket will be able to send large habitation modules and crew anywhere in the solar system. So this is what we need anyways, if we want to like colonize other planets or something. So say we go to Mars, we got orbital probe all the way up with permanent base on Mars. We could, we could be the first <laughs> we can be the first country to have a permanent base on Mars. I think if you go to some of these places, you can get uh, like resources from them over time. So it, it like actually will really grow your your uh, co your economy for whatever reason. Um, okay, so or the moon, we could do the moon. They'd probably be cheaper than Mars. Difference. Uh, it's like nineteen trillion dollars. The moon is 
11 trillion, so a little bit more, a little bit more cheaper. All right, let's go ahead and do light rockets for now. 164 million, we can definitely uh, go ahead and get that kicked off. We'll call it um, just LR1 for now, I guess. Great. All right, perfect. So we're working on light rockets. Creation of the LR1 space program. Cool, cool, cool. We got one launch pad. We're going to want to, if we go to war, we're going to want to protect that. It'd actually be pretty important. Keep that safe. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating. Okay. Uh, so I'm thinking about sending commandos to go harass the French or the UK to get some more money. Since we're at war with them anyways. It'd be a long flight, but... Oh my god, like all the way across the world. Government waste, are you kidding me? We're building rockets. That or we go to war with like Taiwan. We could go to war with Taiwan. Why not? We could use commandos. Good, so that issue with the new plant's not going to affect our food production. Cannot really be described as fatal. Two arrests. Uh, still high density in the labs. Um, Japan abandoning some sort of budget that has nothing to do with me. Okay. How's our army look? We could probably take Taiwan out. Because at this point, I'm just kind of waiting until we've got the ability to take on South Korea again. I don't want to go after them just yet, but we could do places like take Taiwan, which would boost us a little bit. Um, are the refugees still here? Or? Yeah. So they haven't returned home yet. A lot of people were telling me to go after Japan, which we could do, but that would really tick the United States off. There's U.S. bases all over Japan. Or not. Where is all the U.S. bases? Mega Solar Project. That's cool. I know there's U.S. bases down here. Camp Courtney. Kadena. What the heck? They don't have Fatenema? It's... Travesty. There should be some up here. Yep, Yokota Air Base. And then there should be one north by Mount Fuji. It's an air base. Mm, yes. Where is Mount Fuji? I know it's north. Should be here. A lot of those like major mountains and stuff do show up in the game, but I I guess not? Huh. All right. Is our power plant putting power out? Okay, so it's going to take a while till they actually turn that on. So I guess I don't want to completely dismantle all my fossil fuels. Uh, for that reason. There is other things we could build, but I don't think we have the ability yet. I know we could do solar farms and wind farms. Um, solar, geothermal, offshore wind, onshore wind. I'm not going to worry about any of that. Oh, oh, there was something we could, there was something I could pass. And it's not good environmentally, but it might help us out. Um, exploitation authorized for fuel. That might help us. Um, it's going to be bad. We're going to get some unpopularity here involving the environment. But it might allow me to find like some oil or something. Uh, something I wanted to try and just see. We got to wait for it to pass though. Funeral. All right. All countries entered our program are ready. Now it's up to you to select which one will be our partner and be part of our kind of sort. Okay, so we get to pick a partner for this, for the rocket research. So let's take a look and see 
who's uh who wants to partner up with us for this are we at the bottom where are we right there's our part program lr1 all right um so we sent the proposal out And I guess list of partner countries, United States, China, and Russia all want to participate. United States is actually going to give us 37 million towards it. So that'll help pay. Current program budget still 82 million. So I'm going to be fronting most of it. All right. Let's modify. Let's see. Modify the launch date. 420. <laughs> 2024. Um, that's, I can do 2022. Estimated risk of failure, 100%. Uh, that's a long ways away. I don't know if we're ever going to even see this. We should. All right. I could take a 25% chance. Okay, Taiwan. I talked about going to war with Taiwan. We only got 125,000. We'd probably be able to easily take them out. Um, I could use my commandos to do it. That wouldn't be uh, an issue at all. And they wouldn't be that hard to take out. A couple air bases. Uh, they've got some military bases, like just randomly on an island in the middle of the ocean. I could pretty much just bomb those out of existence. Uh, no military bases on mainland, if you could believe it. They'll have troops stationed in the city. But that'll be it. Uh, so the staff wants a... They want a salary increase. Ugh. All right, yeah, we got some money floating. Let's give a little bit of increases to salary. Help purchasing power. Our network was totally dismantled, and the one agents that we had managed to infiltrate over there were captured or killed. All right. The decree takes a There's a law on that. Whoo, that took a good hit. People did not like that. But at least we could take a look now. 128. Purchasing power going up, though. That's good. Um, we could give some... Throw some money at police. People always like... When you bump security up. Give us a little bit of a boost there. Security. Oh, we got an uprising. What's this? Is it for we the... We are awaiting your instructions to direct oper... The rioters have taken control of the square. The pictures are being shown again and again. The rioters. The rioters. So what's the issue? The National Anti-Racism Organization. What's the problem? Hmm. Well, I've got a lot of police here, so I guess I'll just use them to clean these riots up. It shouldn't take me much. Uh... I should go pretty quick. Luckily, we got a lot of police officers, so I can get rid of riots pretty quickly.
All right, perfect. Nice. We have subdued. All right. So that wasn't that wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, so war with Taiwan. Is that what I want to do? Bravo. Everything is great here at Paris Congress. It took time, but they made it. The People's Assembly has once again designated you to take care of the nation's destiny. You'll be able to write a new page of history. I believe I've heard a few critiques here and there on your program. But don't worry, I've got the names of the dissidents. You know full well you can always count on me, right? All right, see you tomorrow, bright and early. <laughs> so I won election, wow. Who would have guessed? Honestly, I had no idea I was so popular. Actually, I, I, my popularity is the lowest it's been in forever. All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave it off here anyway since we're out of time. Next episode, I'm going to start getting the army. Actually, off camera, I'll go ahead and get all the commandos moved to get the army set and ready. Then I think we'll probably take Taiwan. We're kind of just on standby right now. I don't dare go for South Korea just yet until I don't have the, the tanks to really take them. So I'm going to have to use like raw commandos and manpower to do it. Uh, as well as trying to use what's left of our navy and and uh, our um, air force. Uh, I mean, I, I I can buy tanks, but Russia and China won't sell them to me, and we're just not making them fast enough. It could take years before we actually have uh, a good amount of any type of armored, but that's all right. No big deal. Uh, maybe we'll try to contact the black market. I think they're usually pretty expensive. Try to buy tanks and armored vehicles. Like, they're selling a thousand of them. And I think if I buy all thousand, it's $3.7 billion. Which, we've got the money in the reserve, but we've already spent a lot of it on the space program. And um, building that highway. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, with that being said, I'll leave it off here. Thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>